Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing good. In this video, we will discuss about the anatomy of tibia, also known as the shin bone. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Tibia is divided into 3 parts. That are the proximal end, shaft, and the distal end. We will discuss each of these parts separately and see what all anatomical features are present in these parts. starting with the proximal end the proximal end is expanded from sides to sides to form two large condyles that are medial condyle and lateral condyle on the upper surface of the condyles there is the superior articular surface which articulates with the respective condyles of the femur bone let's have a look at these parts this is the figure of the shin bone and this expanded area which you can see is the lateral condyle whereas this part is the medial condyle this is the superior view of the bone and these areas shaded in the green are the superior articular surfaces which articulate with the respective condyles of the femur bone these are two different views of the articulation this is the front view and this is the back view this is the femur bone and this is tibia the area in the circle is how the articulation looks like coming back to the proximal end the posterior lateral aspect of the lateral condyle has the fibular articular facet for head of fibula on the superior surface between the articular surfaces of the two condyles there is intercondylar eminence and this intercondylar eminence is flanked by two tubercles which are median tubercle and lateral tubercle there is a prominence located on the anterior aspect of the upper end of tibia called as the tibial tuberosity let's have a look in this image you can see this area in the light shade This area is the fibular articular facet where this head of fibula articulates. To understand this articulation better, let's have a look at another image. Here, you can see how the head of fibula articulates with the fibular articular facet. This again is the superior view of the bone. This area in the middle is the intercondylar eminence. And as we discussed earlier that it is flanked by two tubercles which are median and lateral tubercle. And lastly, this is the tibial tuberosity on the anterior aspect of the upper end. With this, we complete the proximal end and move to the next part, that is the shaft. The shaft has three borders which are anterior, medial and interosseous border. Anterior border is sharp. It extends from the tibial tuberosity above to the anterior border of the medial malleolus below medial border is rounded it extends from the medial condyle above to the posterior border of the medial malleolus below and the interosseous border extends from the lateral condyle a little below and in front of the fibular facet to the anterior border of the fibular notch and there are three surfaces which are lateral posterior and medial surface the lateral surface lies between the anterior and the interosseous border the posterior surface lies between the medial and the interosseous borders its upper part is crossed obliquely by a rough ridge called the soleal line medial surface lies between the anterior and medial borders let's have a look In this image as you can see this is the anterior border medial to it is the medial border and this sharp border is the interosseous border coming to the surfaces this is the lateral surface this is the posterior surface and this is the medial surface Lastly this is the soleal line on upper part of the posterior surface With this we complete the shaft and move to the last part that is the distal end 
medially, the lower end is prolonged downwards as the medial malleolus. The lateral aspect of the lower end presents a triangular fibular notch. The inferior surface of the lower end is the inferior articular surface. Let's have a look at these parts. This is the lower end of the bone. And as you can see, this part which is extended downwards is the medial malleolus. This is the inferior articular surface. This is the lower end of fibula. And here, the fibular notch is present to which the lower end of fibula articulates. With this, we complete all the parts of tibia. So that is it for today guys. Don't forget to subscribe the channel and follow us on Instagram. Links in the description.